Hi friends! Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, Day 27. Wow. Okay, so we're going to start looking at yesterday's ink, which was from Inkvent last year, Vintage Copper, had it in this Twisby. Um, I'm going to be honest, on the paper writing, these two look pretty similar to one another because the shimmer sort of, I find it like dumps on the first sentence and then like peters out, especially on these pens because like the flow is so good that the shimmer is just like, yes, onto the page. Um, here's that dried splat. Gorgeous. I was thinking about it just now though. Shouldn't vintage copper have patina on it? <laughs> I don't think I like the color, but it feels to me like it should be green. <laughs> but maybe it's polished vintage copper that somehow, you know, wound up in some gold dust. Look, it's fine. It's fine. You're looking too much into it, Maria. Okay. All right. So, oh, time to turn the page. I like turning the page. Draw a line somewhere near the middle, possibly. Um, I have my laptop, appropriately enough, in my lap to pick a random selection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how y'all doing today? Um, I am about to go to the store. Hey, I learned something. I've been wondering this about my the RAND function is if you put zero to 30, does it include 30? And today I just learned it does because I don't have 30 inks. <laughs> Ooh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it, friends. Friends, I just got the perfect ink for this pen. <laughs> of course I did. Of course I did. Of course I did. So we're going to, um, <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, what are the chances? Um, we're going to dig through and find it and find a pen to put it in. And it's going to be a great time. Um, all right, so why am I laughing? Because I meant to dig here and find this. I found that I have the ink. Today's ink <laughs> is <laughs> sub zero, which is like perfect for this pen that I can't put it in. Like, what are the chances of that? The chances of me getting this many ink vent inks in a row is not particularly good because there are not as many ink vent inks left in there as there are other things. At any rate, I have been jostling this. Um, I'll put it in this VAC 700R and uh, Iris because why not? I just cleaned it and I can syringe fill it because what I like to do is take the uh, section off and then lay them in the sun on my counter to dry. Now of course this means that the pen's not going to write. We can dip it. We can dip it. Soaking up some of the ink or the water, I mean, that's inside here. I 
could also just like go try and squirt ink out of it, but it feels so brutal. So let's dip our nib. sure there's no ink on the section. Cool. Can't believe it. <laughs> waited and waited. If I had only, but I mean I needed, my only other option would have been this one. So it's not like I had a ton to choose from. Cause I don't put shimmers in on my pens. If we get another shimmer ink, I'm gonna have to dump a pen. Well, I'm gonna have to dump the contents from a pen. So. I'm gonna let this sit here like this. And I love blue. I don't know why I haven't used this ink. I think I do know why. I think I realized that I come to view samples as like me trying to decide if I want to buy a bottle of that ink. And so I don't think of things this size, which I don't keep with my bottles, I don't have the space as like things to regularly fill pens from but also I mean that's part of why I didn't get things went this year okay so thirty inks thirty days November twenty twenty two wait twenty seven right yeah We'll take a look at the chromatography. So it's, it's basically cyan with some shimmer at the bottom. <laughs> to nobody's surprise. We have the ink. Cyanline ink pen. 2021 sub zero pen frisky black. Oh, it's drying out because there's no ink in here. I'm like, wow, this is a weird situation. I forced some out. Let's see. Yeah. Back 700R. I only have one, so I'm not going to write Iris. Broad nib. This is like the best of my Twisbees as far as writing experience goes. Just really great. I mean, perhaps, not surprising, biggest nib. <laughs> we know I like chonkers. Um, you can see some shimmer up here. But I expect to get more once we're actually writing with the ink that's in the barrel. Oops. Now we got to splat. For some reason, I just got the song 
laying down under my head. <laughs> he was smiling, gave me a Vegemite sandwich. And I said, oh, did you come from a land down under? You know that one. Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. Yes, yes, complex. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are you? What do you want to become, my splatty friend? What have I become, my splatty friend? Everyone I know goes away in the end. Question for you, if you know what I'm talking about, Johnny Cash or Nine Inch Nails? I mean, I think we know what Trent would say. They're just different songs. I mean, that's not what Trent would say, but... I'm saying about them. Oh, I love that one. Phew, it's fleeing. It's fleeing. Oh, there's something crying. I feel very satisfied with this splat. Um, cool. I am looking forward to today's ink experience because I love the pen. I love the color. Just moving that a little. Just moving it. The book I'm writing, I'm copying out. She's got really interesting use of language. Like she just said that the girl screamed something at her brother. And like, I doubt it. I doubt, I mean, I don't doubt that she like yelled at her brother, but I doubt she screamed it. To me, those are very different things. At any rate, what was that about, Maria? Um, here's today's <laughs> 30 inks. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me while we played with some ink today. Um, do you care about precision of language? Am I making up precision that doesn't exist? Feel free to let me know. Um, <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.